Hey guys, so today I have a Hunger Games inspired look for you based on fire. I'm going to start off with my Essence Cream Eyeshadow. This is one of the Ballerina Backstage eyeshadows and it's just a white cream eyeshadow. I'm going to put that on and then blend out with a blending brush. And then I'm going to take the yellow out of my 88 colour palette and I'm going to apply this on my inner corners. And then I'm going to take an orange and I'm going to put this on the first half of the lid, followed by a red on the outer half of the lid, making sure they're all blended together with my blending brush again. Then I'm going to take a darker red colour and place it in the crease with a pencil brush. And once again, blend this out. Then I'm going to take a makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean up around the edges because these shadows did have lots of fallout and I don't want red all over my face, obviously. Then I'm going to take this black CoverGirl eyeliner and I'm going to put this in my waterline and along my lash line. Now this looks really bad but I just pull my eye taut so that I can get kind of a straightish line. I'm sorry this bit's a bit out of focus um, but I was leaning close into my mirror. So I just draw as close to my lash line as I can get it. If you have a little bit it doesn't matter because we're going to put mascara and stuff on so it's not a massive deal. So then I'm just fixing up the outer corner. Then I'm going to apply my Revlon Custom Eyes Mascara. This is one of those ones that has like an adjustable brush. So I'm just coating my eyes in this, or my lashes I guess. Then I'm going to take my Essence My Base Primer. This is an illuminating primer and I'm just putting this in the spots I'd usually highlight, so my forehead, down my nose, across my cheekbones, sorry about the really weird faces, um, a little bit on the top of my lip and a little bit on my chin. And then taking my foundation, I'm using the Astralis Paparazzi Perfect Foundation and I'm just blending this in with a blending sponge. I then decided that I didn't like the blending sponge so I do change to a brush but I'm just blending it and that um, illuminator all together because then the illuminator is in the spots that I want it, but it's mixed in with the foundation, if that makes sense. So here I swapped to a brush because I decided the sponge was taking too long and it was frustrating me. So, yeah. So just make sure your foundation is really nice and blended. You want a fairly flawless coverage with this look because you do have such bright eyes. I also put on um, like half demi eyelashes. So now I'm just applying my Maybelline cover stick. I'm applying this under my eyes in a triangular fashion. I'm also applying it around the nose and the forehead down the nose a little bit, the chin and my cupid's bow again. This is a lighter yellow tone concealer so it's going to counteract any dark circles we have going on and it's going to lighten up those bits of the face we put it on so that's why I put it in the spots where I would highlight like I did with the illuminating face face. Now I'm using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just tapping this all over my face with my Kabuki brush. Then I'm taking my Bourjois Soleil Bronzer. This is in the colour Fair to Medium and I'm just applying this as a contour up to my temples around my forehead, making sure to blend it in really well because we don't want any harsh lines. And I'm doing the same on the other side using an angled brush. I really like this bronzer for when I'm pale because it's a really good light bronzer. Then I'm taking my MAC Peachy Keen blush and I'm applying this to my cheeks. And then I'm going to take my Circus Circus highlighter from Essence and apply this with a small stippling brush as a highlight just to the tops of my cheekbones. And last but not least, I'm going to finish up with lips. I'm just going to finish up with my Kate Moss lipstick. And that is the finish look. And then I'm going to apply my NYX lipstick. This is in Femme Femme. 